Hello everyone, welcome back to Webdem Mentors YouTube channel and we are watching learning bootstrap series. In this video, we are going to see about tables in bootstrap. Bootstrap provides us with a number of classes that we can use on tables in our website to make it more responsive, stylish and good looking for our website. So before getting into those classes in bootstrap that actually makes our tables look good, let me show you how a table without any styling or without any bootstrap classes will look like in a website. So this is my table that I have added just with some content or values. So this table does not have any kind of stylings or any kind of classes from bootstrap added to it. So it's a raw table with just HTML tags that is added to a website. So let's see the code for it. So this is the code, the table, table body, and table row tr is the tag for table row and then I have added some five headings to my table th stands for table heading and we give this values inside it so I also have table rows for data we have three rows of data one for traditional which covers the desktop and laptops and the next one is the smartphone that is the Windows mobile iPhone Android devices that are mobile phones and then the tablets tabs iPads slates all those things so these values actually corresponds to the usage of internet from these devices for the 2012 and 2013 quarter one and now this is how it looks without applying any kind of stylings so let's see the getbootstrap.com documentation for tables to see the classes available for tables so we have the basic class that can be applied to a table that is the table so this class applies the bootstrap styling to a table so let's see what happens if I add this class to my table so class table sorry I'm going to website and refreshing it and that's it this is added good styling and also padding to make my content look more good and also appealing so there's a lot of classes that can be used well, if you want to use it, just copy it and use it along with the table class. Don't forget, if you're not using the table class, this won't work. So, if I refresh it, you can see that there is a light gray color background for rows that are alternative. So, there's the first row that is the header row and then the third row. So, it is going to be applied for every alternative rows. And now the next class is the border so if you can see my table there is no border apart from the top so the border is applied only on the top of each rows so now if I add the class table border this will add borders on all sides of my table data so you can see that the table border is applied on all areas so this gives a nice look to my table so now let's see the next class table hover actually adds a nice effect when you hover on each element or row of your table so when I copy this and add it to my table this is going to give me a nice styling when I hover over the rows so now you can see that I have added multiple classes and all these classes will be applied now if I remove this class this particular styling will be removed now you can see that there is no background for any of the rows unless I hover over it so don't use the class table striped unless you're sure that your visitors will not come from Internet Explorer 8 so the next thing is table condensed what happens if I have a table which has a huge amount of data that is very difficult to put it in a particular area of my website well, with this styling and padding applied, it's very difficult for containing a big amount of data in the table. So, so in order to display those type of contents, we can use the condensed class to reduce the padding around each data element or table element. So this reduces padding around each table data. So now, well, before getting into the next class, let me show you how responsive my table is. See, it reduces its size based on the size of the screen. So that is responsive. Well, just by adding the table class alone, I have made my table responsive. That is a great way of reducing 
your 90 percentage of time in designing responsive websites so the next thing is before getting into those table classes let me come to the table responsive class so if you think your table is too big and it cannot reduce its size when you reduce the size of your website or in your mobile devices you should use table responsive well in order to use table responsive you have to use a division because you cannot apply it directly on your table so if you encapsulate your table with a division with the class table responsive you'll be getting a situation like this where people can actually scroll through your table contents in the horizontal way so the next thing that we're going to see is some of the classes that can make your life easy now this is where the type of content I have chosen to show you this example will be coming into act so now the success class is going to give me a green background so I have this positive change in my table so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply this class in here success and class success so this is going to give me a nice effect of green which actually shows that this is a positive change and now we're also having warning and danger so warning can be used for slightly changed stuff so if there is equal change I would have used warning but now as it is very less like minus 9.63 I'm going to use the danger class in order to state that it's a way to high reduction in the percentage so this is going to give me a nice red background so we're also having an info class that can give me a blue background that can state that it is an information that you have to note for so these classes actually gives a nice look to your table in various ways well that's the end of this video we have covered a lot in tables and this is going to improve your websites content by a great margin if you use it properly Thank you for watching this video and if you have any kind of comments, suggestions, feedbacks or issues, please use the comment section of this video or contact us through our Facebook page or Twitter handle. And if you find this video useful, please like this video, share this video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.